Welcome back. And of course, uh, as I mentioned very early in the show, our final segment for today is also a very important one as we focus once again on cancer awareness and the different activities planned by the different branches of the Belize Cancer Society. And with us this morning, we have uh, Diane Finnegan, who is the Vice President for the Belize Cancer Society in the National Headquarters. And we have Lisa Cheng, who is the president of the Belize Cancer Society, Dan Griga Branch. And you are, I'm sorry? Shereen Diaz. From? Uh, Dan Griga Branch. All right. Now, of course, May is always commemorated as a Cancer Awareness Month. And I, and I want to take the opportunity to just give you all uh, an op to a chance to talk about what your individual societies have been up to in preparation for this particular month. Let's start with you, Dan. Okay. Um, as you are aware, last week, Sunday, mm -hmm. was the opening of the month of May mm -hmm. with our cancer activities, with a service that was done at the Zion Church. Yeah. Um, and we continue on with those activities. Um, this weekend would be Belmopan Cancer Walk mm -hmm. along with Dangriga Cancer mm -hmm. Walk. Mm -hmm. And um, Lisa will share a bit more because that has a bit more meaning to just a walk. Yeah. And then we continue on with our walk, mm -hmm. which will be um, on the 27th, okay. um, which leaves from Selena's, mm -hmm. the yearly thing, um, Selena's. We have buses which will be picking up. Um, we're asking that you're out at the different stops mm -hmm. by 3.30 in the morning, mm. because the first um, pickup is at Southside, mm -hmm. that's Pong Yard Bridge and Shell gas station. Then we have for the north side, Paloti bus terminal, mm -hmm. and in front of Great Belize production. There won't be any buses at the headquarters. Okay. Um, then on the Philip Goldson Highway, Friendship Restaurant mm -hmm. and Brody's. So those are some of the stops okay. that um, you can be. If you miss one, try to get to the other yeah. in order to reach on time. And we are asking people that, because each year we seem to have a problem where some reach just the appointed time mm -hmm. when the, the walk is taking off. We normally do um, prayer um, and of course um, commend everyone for mm -hmm. participating. So we want people to be able to join in that effort. Karen Rosito mm -hmm. is very instrumental in, in, in um, Warm waking up, session. up waking yeah. up everybody because being out out your bed from three in the morning is no joke yeah. um, but again always grateful for the support from people yeah. my biggest challenge is and <clears throat> it is something that I was speaking to Lisa and Shireen earlier um, the importance of people understanding that even though May is a month set aside to advocate and recognize mm -hmm. uh, cancer, we feel that it's crucial that mm -hmm. people understand that it's a day-to-day -day, um, issue of mm -hmm. concern. Your the way you live your life, the the choices that you make, mm -hmm. a member of your family being diagnosed mm -hmm. with cancer. Is, does not necessarily mean that you as a, a fa family member mm -hmm. will also end up with cancer. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is study the history of that mm -hmm. and take the preventative measures mm -hmm. so that you live a life cancer-free. Mm -hmm. Again, supporting by purchasing our t-shirts. It's not about the t-shirt. So I have an issue when mm -hmm. people bring their three years before <laughs> yeah, last yeah. year's t-shirt yeah. because that money has already been spent mm -hmm. the purpose of us doing these it's a, um, it's a fundraiser it's our way of promoting what is happening this year yeah. and how we want that all to come out um in solidarity yeah. wearing this t-shirt to say i've contributed to the life mm -hmm. of someone who cannot really afford to go out and, and get their chemo and get mm -hmm. medication because 
it really affects and knocks on the door mm -hmm. of some of the less fortunate yeah. individuals. So these efforts that we make yeah. is really to call out on the general public. And I like to make the comparison with um, the concerts held in Belize. Um, sometimes it's 10 for the year. And if you do an aerial view of the amount of people who are at these concerts, I'm saying if you just take $30 and contribute it to the cancer society, you would have made a significant difference in helping someone who is diagnosed with ca cancer, yeah. someone who is facing some major emotional challenges mm -hmm. because they have to carry this. We, we all are supports, mm -hmm. but no one knows what happens truly internally mm -hmm. in these individuals who are carrying that. Um. I like your concert uh, analogy because now you even buy specialized t-shirts for concerts, concerts. now. Yes. So, and that's a paid event. So we yes. need a specialized t-shirt for the cancer walk and it has to be the one for this year. Yes. What is the theme for uh, this Gosh. year's Gosh. cancer walk for Belize City? Okay, we don't have that one, but I'm seeing one up here. That's why I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a Dan Griga one. Dan that's okay. <laughs> so tell us about uh, Dan Griga's preparation for this year's Cancer Awareness Month and Cancer Walk. Well, Awareness Walk. <laughs> we started all the way from February, actually. We yeah. wanted to get the youths involved, especially high school students. Mm -hmm. So in February, we launched a competition whereby we have high school students design the front of our Cancer Walk t-shirt and this was actually one of the winning design mm -hmm. it was done by Kevin Laurie from Ecumenical High School from 3 Tourism mm -hmm. and what he did um, was he put the Dangriga monument mm -hmm. and have a lavender ribbon wrap around it to signify all cancers um, and each one of the runners approaching the ribbon the big ribbon is actually the 21 most common cancers in Belize Okay. So we can see that he really did um, a lot of research into it. Yeah. So it was a big competition on Facebook and he got over 3,000 likes, you know. So, um, oh, that was how they won? Yeah. Based yeah. on yes. who had more likes? With who, based yeah. on who had more likes and how he publicized it. Mm -hmm. So um, we had a lot of entries in. So mm -hmm. I must commend the high school students. They did their research, you know, and they really see the need to promote this walk. Um, and then. Another thing that we did um, in approach for the Cancer Awareness Month, um, in the month of April, we had two events. Um, it's called a Cancer Awareness Exhibition. This is actually our second mm. year doing it. And what it is, it's um, an event with all the primary school students, and they have to do like a science boot competition, mm -hmm. and they have to represent each different type of cancer. Mm -hmm. um, so. It was a really nice event. One was done in Independence, and then another one was done in um, Dangriga at Ecumenical Auditorium. Mm -hmm. So what they did was that they explained about the different type of cancer. Some of them did um, skits. Some of them did 3D models. This is actually a CT machine that they made. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this was from Independence. Um, this is actually the school that won Shallow Adventist yeah. and they um, presented on lung cancer. They actually had a skit whereby um, the, the patient came into the hospital, the wife was crying and they explained um, that the symptoms that they have and they, they said, okay, we need to do a CT scan. So he <laughs> ran into the machine <laughs> and then the doctor pulled out the x-rays and all that. So, and this is this a picture. This is fantastic yeah. though because cancer is, is, is such... It's a, it's a terrible disease, and mm -hmm. I think especially for younger ones, all they hear is cancer, 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 cancer. And they only and hear about health. breast cancer. Yeah, yes. and mm -hmm. I mean, the depictions that we're seeing here of what happens to the cells, of mm -hmm. what it takes for diagnosis, they're really getting a hands-on experience yeah. to, to understand the threats to your body. Yeah. yeah, and the thing is that with children nowadays, we have to understand that they learn more coming from their peers. Yeah. You know, so I mean, like we could be in front of them, talking to them, and it goes in one year, comes out the next. But when they hear it from their own peers, it's a lot easier mm -hmm. for them to digest information. And they even feel proud when they say, oh, I teach a high school student something. <laughs> That's so, true. 
So this is um, one of the events that we did yeah. in April. Shireen, tell, tell us about uh, your experience in terms of some of the things you saw at the exhibit. Well, at this, this exhibit, I was a judge, actually. Oh, <laughs> tell us about the top contenders. <laughs> the top contenders. Uh -huh. They were extremely nervous, like I am right now, because <laughs> um, not everybody's for public speaking, That's but um, they made great effort. I mean, you could see some of them more than others really understood, took time out to really study mm -hmm. what they were um, presenting on. Mm -hmm. And even though they were nervous, you know that they, it was something that you'll take with them they will always remember with their right. lifetime, you know? Yeah. So they learn a lot. And I'm like Lisa is saying, you pass it on to your peers and you, you, you kind of, you won't take it in from them yeah. than just listening to an adult, just telling you things about things that you don't understand. Mm -hmm. So it's better coming from them and the, the interaction and in the encouragement with yeah. each other and cheering your school on and having them win. Good. I think it's, you know. I think it will stay with them for a lifetime. Absolutely. That, that, and this was the first time you did that? This is the second, second The second, second. Okay. It's the first time in Independence. Okay. And we really hope that we can start um, branching out to the other branches. And mm -hmm. I believe Belmopan had shared interest, Belmopan and PG had shared interest in doing that also mm -hmm. in the future. All right. And then tell us the details about your walk. Okay. So our walk is set for this Saturday. Mm -hmm. And it's going to start at 5 a.m. from Shaibel Gas Station. That's mm -hmm. um, five and a half miles outside of Dangriga to the drums of our father. Mm -hmm. So um, buses will start picking up in town and in the valley from 4.15. Mm -hmm. um, and then we start our walk. Well, um, what we did this year to gather most of our youths and have them involved is have... Um, Casanova, who is, sorry, um, one of the rising upcoming artists straight out of Dangriga, Harlem. Yeah. Um, he decided to assist us by doing a cancer song, mm -hmm. and that's Casanova right there, um, in honor of his grandmother who passed away from cancer as well. So um, he is studying right now at UWI in Jamaica, so good luck on his exams. Yeah. <laughs> um, he did the cancer song, it's called Strength, um, along with a Jamaican artist called Calix. Mm -hmm. So um, that is what we're here today, launching the song. Okay. And during the walk, we will be shooting a live music video. So encourage For the song itself. Yes. Nice. So we encourage everybody to come out and be part of the video. Well, let's take an opportunity to hear a snippet of the song. Okay. As you said, the artist's name is Casanova. 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 Fe featuring Calix. Featuring Calix, and the song is called Strength. Strength. So let's listen to it up for a bit. <laughs> Hold on, now hold on. Which strength we are gonna hold on? Hold on, now hold on. We say, which strength we are gonna hold on? No. Hold on, now hold on. Which strength we are gonna hold on? Hold on, now hold on. No, you're not alone, no. It's not the end of the road, no. Sometimes life could be so unfair, but me want you to know you're supposed right here. No, you're not alone, no. No, you're not on your own, no. Tell me, say I'm right here for you. Take my hands and I hold on. I'm in this fight with you. Go on, hold on. Me not give up. Me not lay down. Just know, say you got me by your side. Can't I go and run with the high cars? We not give up. We not lay down. Just know, say you got me by your side. Can't I better run with the high cars? Enough life done lost. Still enough people are fight With strength we stand, we unite And our war against cancer, we all are we might mm. Enough life done lost Still enough people are fight With strength we stand, we unite And our war against cancer, we all are we might Tell them, hold on, now hold on With strength we are gonna hold on Hold on, now hold on which trend we have to hold on. All right, nice. Uh, talking about unity and strength, I think definitely important. And I can just, I can imagine the scenes of the walk as well, matching with that uh, song. Great job there by Casanova featuring Calix. Calix, right? So we can look out for that video coming from you guys yes, soon. Yes, and the video, we're actually going to launch it on July 15th. Okay. Um, we're doing a grand raffle starting mm -hmm. the day of the walk. and. All the proceeds goes to our Dangriga office that we are in dire need of. Okay. So 
Nice. Now, uh, going back to the walk, we know a part of, as, as Diane very well mentioned earlier, I think uh, we need to remember that the, these activities are fundraisers. And while it's great to go out and show your support by being there, the old t-shirts or your own fitness gear isn't the preferred uh, attire. You want this year's t-shirt because that's how you raise your money. So you have your uh, colors listed here, of course, and uh, tell us about the cost and when people can get them. Right. Um, the t-shirts are $22 each, the Dangriga t-shirts are $22 each and they can be purchased through any member of the Dangriga Cancer Society mm -hmm. and they can also message us on Facebook as well. Okay, and uh, it's better to get it before the day of the walk, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and once again, your walk is, takes place this, this Saturday. Saturday. Uh, from Shy Bell to the drums of uh, drums of my father and uh, the pickup start at 4:15. 4:15. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And um, Marlene, if mm -hmm. I could just remind um, and share too yeah. that we have the cancer challenge ride. That's right. Um, it's going to take place next week, May 20th, yeah. and and it's in two phases, May mm -hmm. 28th and 21st. Stage one is May 28th, and that's from Dan Griga to San Ignacio, mm -hmm. I think that is the most beautiful ride. Mm. I am um, contemplating. <laughs> contemplating. It's a great drive. Oh, yes. I just don't know if I can yes. that ride. Well, I just <laughs> did the one um, from um, mile 25 uh -huh. to Belmopan, uh -huh. which was the CEO caucus uh -huh. ride. That that was well supported. Yeah. And, and um, I did that one. Yeah. So, but my dream has always been to do the to ride the hills. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about it, and <laughs> I, it, I really want to do it. It is a so, ride and not a race, yes, and you offer not. like supportive services the great along thing the way. Is that the professional cyclists yeah. participate in this? So. Mm -hmm. If for some reason you're, reason you're experiencing any kind of challenge, mm -hmm. they are there to assist you. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm very glad for that and yeah. also commend the cyclists for participating in this. And then stage two is May 21st, mm -hmm. um, Benke Border, finishing at our bar, okay. where um, we'll have like a mini um, celebration mm -hmm. just to welcome the cyclists yeah. um, who come in. Um, and, and to give thanks to, to all who are participating and then gain the energy and the, the hype mm -hmm. for um, next week's walk. Yeah. So um, that is where we at. And at the end of the month, May 31st, mm -hmm. um, the Belize Cancer Society in collaboration with the Atlantic Insurance Wellness mm -hmm. Day and Blood Drive mm -hmm. um, will be having a, a a cancer day okay. um, event to close mm -hmm. off the month of May. And uh, as I mentioned, Blood Drive, mm -hmm. um, it is another one of those initiative mm -hmm. that I beg the general public mm -hmm. to please support yeah. because all of us, for some reason or the other, mm -hmm. um, whether it, it touched us as an individual mm -hmm. Oftentimes, it's a family member who's in need yeah. of blood. Um, and it's crucial that we keep our lives healthy mm -hmm. so that we can be donors mm -hmm. and be able to, to um, give blood yeah. for others for any emergency or so. Yeah. Um, it's a crucial initiative that I am begging the mm -hmm. general public to kindly support. Absolutely. But again, um, where cancer is concerned, yeah. um, we can only be advocates mm -hmm. to support and to, to lend our shoulders mm -hmm. to individuals who are falling apart mm -hmm. because they see cancer as a death sentence. Yeah. And um, just as you were sharing just now, all these initiatives that we do is really, if we can get enough money mm -hmm to prolong lives, mm -hmm. that for me would be the greatest, greatest day. Um, so those of you who are going to that concert this weekend with Busy Signal, <laughs> I'm blasting it right now. Um, I'm gonna be there too. Uh -huh. The thing is that um, my motto in life mm -hmm. is so as you give, you receive. Mm -hmm. It's a blessing to give. Um, 
take out thirty dollars, go natural with the hair, and just put some gel in it so that you don't <laughs> spend the thirty on the hair, because um, it's gonna get sweaty anyways. That's true. Give me that thirty dollars, please, mm -hmm. because that goes towards the life of someone yeah. who's truly in need and cannot come to you personally and ask for you. But me to beg for it. <laughs> Give me that thirty dollars, please. But we know, you know, when people are diagnosed, one of the first places they go to is the Bleach Cancer Society for help, whether it's to pay for a biopsy, a confirmatory test, uh, uh, or to seek treatment. And uh, yeah. this is where the funds for the t-shirt uh, go back to. So uh, you also have t-shirts available and usually a ton of other gear as well yes. uh, at the Cancer Society's office. Yes, right? and we'll be back to promote more about mm -hmm. um, the activities and okay. what we have in place. But our t-shirts are $30 mm -hmm. um, and that comes with your registration. Okay. And this is why it's crucial because um, when you give that, um, donate that $30, mm -hmm. you're paying to register yeah. as an advocate yeah. and a support in the cancer walk. Yeah. So, and those t-shirts, you can get them at the headquarters, the yeah. Belize Cancer Society yeah. headquarters. And you have multiple colors and multiple styles yes. and all with this year's theme, which mm -hmm. is Act Now, Take Action, mm -hmm. Improve access, access to Cancer Care. Right? Yes. So uh, once again, the dates. This Saturday, Dan yeah, Griga yeah. Cancer Walk. Next Saturday, the Cancer, cancer Awareness Ride. ride. Mm -hmm. um, Saturday and uh, Sunday. Sunday. Mm -hmm. And then the following Saturday, the Belize City Cancer, cancer Walk. Walk. All yes. right, ladies. Well, thank you for stopping in and providing all these details. Best of luck with your individual events. And before we leave, we want Ooh. to invite you to Dangriga. Ooh. And here is your own T-shirt. Thank you. <laughs> all right. And there you go. And your theme is we can, I can make healthy lifestyle choices. Right? Fantastic. And our sponsors in the back. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, got, you have a long list of <laughs> sponsors there. But thank you for coming in. And best of luck. Well, thanks for, Thank you. for having us as usual. Right. We're going to go ahead now and uh, take our final break. And when we come back, we'll have our wrap up. So stay tuned.